Yes, uh, earnings have come in better than expected, but is it good enough? Uh, well, it, 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 the question is good enough for what? Um, I, you know, the, I think the fundamental issue is that this is a market that has extraordinary impatience um, and, you know, just wants to, quote, unquote, you know, be done with it already. And I think that the frustrating um, piece of this is that Q3 earnings are not uh, allowing us to see that capitulation, that rebasing and resetting of 2023 earnings expectations yet. Uh, there's still a huge tailwind of uh, the power of nominals or pricing power and inflation in the results we're getting. Uh, and so, you know, the commentary about resilience, I, I think, is going to ultimately prove to be a head fake, but it's not yet a clearing event uh, that sets up for a durable, viable bottom in this market. Do you agree? I mean, B. Riley's Art Hogan uh, sees Q3 results as a potential catalyst for equity, saying, quote, what is important to remember is that second quarter earnings came in much better than feared. Sparking a solid July rally, there is a credible possibility that history may repeat itself this go around. Perhaps, and even your colleague Mike Wilson may agree with that, but do you agree with Tony that this actually could be part of a longer term gaining cycle? So it's okay if there's some volatility on the downside after that. Absolutely. I mean, I think we're we're going to be on this roller coaster to nowhere, uh, where you know periodically we're going to get these bear market rallies. Where you know, as I said, that this is a very impatient market. Um, investors seemingly have n no tolerance for pain, and so any sign you know that the wind may begin to blow their way, you know, gets a two or three day rally going. Um, but uh, you know, I completely. Agree agree with Tony that we have not seen the real impact uh, of tighter financial conditions and tighter monetary policy on either the slowing in the economy and or uh, corporate earnings. So that is still in front of us. We still need to rebase numbers. Um, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like Q3 is going to be that, you know, capitulative, um, you know, event that, that pushes those 2023 and 2024 numbers down to where they probably ultimately will go.